But all right, let's uh, get back into it. We'll do single player classic mode, which is medium start. Why not? We'll do it. All right. Maybe the fan actually isn't getting caught by that. I hope not. Because it's really hot today and I would like to uh, not sweat my balls off as I uh, try to play. So what do we got? Custom Dwarf. Oh, these are original people. I want to be a dwarf. Else they're real lanky in their long ass necks. Humans, what do they got? Courage. I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, ooh, this is new. I don't know why undead have boobs, but I'm not going to question it. I mean, they are undead, so I guess whatever. What is their thing? That's a pretty good ability. It I think I'm going to be a ranger, though. Or a rogue. Shadow blade? That sounds cool. Um, are these customs? Yeah, these are customs. I'm going to make my own, but I don't think I'm going to be... Undead, just because it's weird. It might be a lizard. They set shit on fire, and that's cool. Shadow Blade. Two Dragon Lady. We got Wonder Woman. Elves are weird in this game. What's going on? They just got really long necks. Kind of weird. But they can. Eh. So it's probably going to be a human. Shadow Blade. Whenever I try to do this, it just doesn't end well as a stealth wayfarer. Is this like a elemental ranger, I guess? Which, oh, here we go. You're kind of holding that dagger. Kind of. Bunch of mosquitoes. I want to be a witch. That is quite the wizard pose, lady. Battle Mage. Are they supposed... Is this like a bug and she's supposed to be holding them? Battle Mage looks cool. Battering Ram. Rush forward in a straight line. Back to touch. Alright, we just we just might do Battle Mage. There's a lot of uh, classes on this. The Amazon Lady. Chanter. Oh, I was here before. Fighter. Inquisitor. Sounds cool. I may have to do Inquisitor. I think I'm going to do Inquisitor. So my windowed mode is cutting it off just a smidge. But I'm worried if I actually try to rechange this, it, it, it might actually... Uh... Oh, we got appearance. I know bamboo look like that. Quit sable. Nutmeg. Dune. All the spice is gonna flow. All nut. Face one. You know, if you're an inquisitor, you got a face like that. You've seen some shit. We'll go with that one. Hairstyle. Need something that's like, I am inquisitor. And I don't know if inquisitors spend a lot of time braiding their hair like that. No. Too many decorations. That's cool. I don't think I'm gonna do it. This eh, ponytail works, I guess, because you're like, my job is to. And, well, that's like the number one no nonsense. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just like, yeah, I do have hair, but it's just there. Lumberjack, Hooter, Brewer. Can't just call them orange, red, brown. You gotta actually just. Give them weird names. Miller Time. We'll go with Miller Time. Is there any no facial features? Alright. Voice. Glory is mine. 
No. Prepare yourself. Maybe. I'll yield to none. Maybe. I'll yield to none. Meet your maker. Almost got me that time. Maybe warrior. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We're gonna go with warrior. Visitor. Do all these. I want to futz to executioner. I like the idea of her just running around with a goddamn hammer. We'll do all these. Be a jester. Ah, uh, well, well. Select your instrument leaders during nights. Highlight various moments of your. No. It isn't an ode. I'm going with that. Your name is not Sylvia, though. We're gonna call you Miller. Miller time. Cause it just goes with the hair. It's a really good name. All right. Let's see how much you have not selected any tags for your tag. Available tags, too. Oh, I didn't choose. You are... I think you're Barbarian. No. You're not that. Doesn't seem like a thing uh, I can quit. Just a cranky old one with a hammer would actually be a... Maybe a scholar. No. We'll go with those. Talents? Oh, I can't pick any because she's already got Executioner. Yeah, we'll go with that. See if it'll let me go. Yes. And we're going to be end up on the crash shore again. The last time I played this was so long ago, I don't think I remember anything of the intro, so... That's fine. It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of source magic. Magic apples. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. Flies to honey. The carnage began. Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I should probably move the mouse. I'm sure people get annoyed by that. And sent to Fort Joy. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers other people, so I'll try to be mindful of that. This is at least an intro to that sequence when I'd they were doing the... To kill Godwoken. Well, I should probably put subtitles on too. I became part of their story. If I remember. Like this. Alright. Yeah, this is, I guess, just the intro to the thing we're about to do. What's around that island? Miller Lady. No, this is different. This is definitely different. Basic attack. Um Yeah, you just ended up on a It wasn't a dream after all. Ended up on a okay, uh the option. Audio one have gameplay. To look for subtitle. There we go. All right, here we go. Um, yep, burning soul. Use it. Not a very chatty fellow, are you? What? Oh, we've got line of sight now. If I hit shift, that's cool. Let's read. Oh, let's read the tome. Uh, inventory. Story time. We have passed too long, presumed. We have too long, presumed stores as a virtuous part of civil society. So we need to look no further than in the bath, blah, blah. Source bad. Yeah, okay. Give me the potion bottle. 
That's some telekinesis right there. Just walk around and be like, yo, that's yeah. you. Level one. Can I move? Okay, I can. Nothing else here. They're like. Ah, you're up. Yes. Looks like that collar is you snugly enough. Nice bit of work. Even no, if I do there's... say so myself. Is there a rotate? There's rotate. I mean, I've pushed the mouse. Fuck. Fair. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Aren't you rather cheeky? In the meantime, cheeky? your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. The You'll logs. find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Pull the thing at your neck, futilely demand to know why she's called to you. I've never seen a wooden cave before. I'm going with that one. Are you seriously? Oh, <laughs> this is... This is a ship. It floats on the water. It is a vessel that allows us to travel the sea. I think I'm picking nothing but barbarian, though. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. Oh, narrator voice. That's cool. My word. You do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Right, woman. Oh, well. I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Fort Joy? A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. But the source did the cool apple thing. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Struggle. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. You recall great powers building inside you. The one you commanded before your capture. Unleash them. Currents of magic surge inside you. Boiling, bursting, then breaking. Only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My It'll cool a little jig there. The concentration on your face. All will, but no result. You're very haughty, aren't you? I hit one. There you have it, see? The collar's function. It neuters you, of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. Isn't that nice? For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. But we're okay in this giant, weird laboratory stuff. Can I pick that up? That wasn't an option when I... Oh, that's probably just junk. I'm gonna steal everything, but you're no boss of me. Remember, okay, it's very good. Ooh, barrel. Always stuff barrel. No, I said barrel. What is that barrel? Nothing. Well, let's go out the door. Good God, there's there's been a murder here. Well, I don't care. There's rooms. Well, that probably goes upstairs, and I don't want to yet. I think I'm supposed to solve a murder. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. There's only so much I could believe. Uh, trying to solve a mystery of a murder on the boat when it's this small of a boat, I'd guess. Behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Looking into the room between the lurching ship and the smell of blood. I don't get seasick. I can't do that. I'm going to ask what murder. happened. The sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time. Or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. We're on a goddamn boat. How hard is it not to find this person? Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. So someone on the boat's last name's Waters. There's a word for that where your last name matches up with whatever your job is. I think this is one of them. Let's give you lend a hand in investigation. Does it always happen? Often. You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. I mean, I don't need magic to stab people. Small ones this time. 
it ain't the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. Did I to see here? Let's uh, take a look. See, blood can be electric. Oh, that's right. You can. Oh, the cool elemental shit. Game. Let's read. Take that book. My book. Aha. Ugly sight, isn't it? Where are your eyes? Burns me up. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky. No void walk and follow the source that did this. This wasn't a man protector. She was a captor. Why is she letting you close? Let's she looks it. up at you with a mirthless smile. Mirthless. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. Maybe you should have been in here where the murder was happening. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. I've been known to do things in my sleep. Uh. Maybe it's one it of them. was killed by Sauce. If a magister could do that, there wouldn't be a magister. It looks more like you. a passenger managed to slip their collar, and the rest. But it's all being framed. See the evidence in front of you. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. I just woke up, and you want me to be your buddy? And I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? What am I gonna do with coins? Should I? My price considerably higher than that. Not in here, it isn't. Aren't you full of sass? You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. I don't trust people whose eyeballs I can't. What else is here? The body. Can't loot the body. Oh, I gotta use for the mouse button. Kind of I'll need to write to headquarters right away. They just said it couldn't have been magic. It was. They just stabbed him. Keep looking. Take some. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Back to the sheep. Mashing. Give me the better roll. I can rest. Yes, I know. I will take bucket. I have bucket. Problem is, though, with trying to speak with accents, I need to hear them. If I try to actually imitate one of those. Accents now. I just can't. I want to talk to a bunch of kids. Kids never have anything good. But You're we'll... a human, like me. That means we're friends already. My mum told me not to make friends with lizards and elves and dwarves and stuff. But I think they're okay. I think they're okay. Do you know Loisa? She's a really good singer. I don't want to hear you sing. Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Wife. Sorry, what? Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this Losa woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergic. Why'd you call me wife? Oh, we're playing. Let's see. <laughs> they're all a bunch oh, of dirty brats. So bad. <laughs> at least not when they're treating me, madam. Uh, Madam Josephine Gribble de Peeve, with due deference. Gribble de Peeve. The children break out into giggles. De Peeve. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty head, and smiles flatly. Flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? True enough, shake your head. I'm more concerned with survival than entertainment. Ah, I'll you go with the... Seem right. Knows anything about the murder. That dog has got quite the get up. Nope. Trying not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. You ought to have look around for you. You can watch each other's box. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. He's probably right. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. 
She smiles as though no change came over her. Was oh, it that time of the month? Oh. Uh, my name is Miller. We're trying to catch a killer here. Wow, you're cool. I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like your color. You're too excitable. Is there anything here? There's some stuff down here. Let's talk to the dog. I agree. What's this? Fane is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. Cranley Hubert's. His big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. Rather, he reaches out and looking at me lewdly, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time this happened to me! Fascinating. You're a weird one. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Uh, is there any book? Am I speaking to? I'm gonna muss his hair. Hmm? What purpose did that serve? Was that a greeting? Was it? Oh, oh dear! I seem to have crossed some cultural taboo. How difficult! That was taboo. You have my apologies, human. Perhaps I should demand the same from those red-cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than once. Who is this guy? That's who is? Ah, yes, the niceties. Yes, yeah, so all the. My on. name is Fane. I am a scholar from, well, I am a seeker of knowledge. That is enough. Amazing. It is pleasurable to meet you. Is it? What's in the book? Partly, I've been reading this one for several minutes, and I have yet to find a single insight into the mysteries of the universe. So why'd you pinch my hand? It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your our world's history? Um, I woke up on a boat and I talked to sheep. Uh, that's most messengers and void walking. Let's hit number two. I, yeah, oh, barbarian's please. not here. I have no interest. In yeah, no. blah blah. I want to know about the celestial. I want to know about you. This My gods tells me that they created all creatures. But nothing came before. So what happened? Where did they come from? What Who came before them? Blah 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 blah. The of their kind? Why are you curious about the gods? Freezes for just a second before he waves his hand dismissively. Oh, it's just one of my idle curiosities. We mortals do like to consider these things, do we not? But we're on a boat. Now please run along. I have a world to decipher. But why do you care so much? There was a murder. Alright, grave. What is what is Good, good. Magister Williams has just about done with the last passenger. You fearing okay so far? Uh be fine. Collar like a dog and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that one. He tugs the collar of his uniform and chuckles. I'm sorry you're upset, ma'am, but we all wear what we wear for a reason. I don't know if it's just because of his accent, but maybe I just like. Head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. I can't get mad at him. I'm not going in there yet, buddy. I have a whole. Like Let's talk to a beast. A dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his. Got a knees. fancy hat. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. I want that hat. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, ghetto. You hear that? You have to think twice before a child. What am I hearing? Let's do the murder. His eyes snap open. He looks at you and frowns. Murder. Murder. Ah, that's what they were going on and on about. Could have just asked. About it. I kill a man. He knows who done it. His daddy knows who done it. And the mayor knows who done it too. Great story. His eyes flutter shut, and he assumes his position of repose once more. Whether they catch me is another matter, but I ain't one to hide my accomplishments. What am I meant to be hearing? Of course. Chips make noise. Yeah, it's what boat. 
C sounds angry. I'm going to try to be witty. Let's hit two. The fellow cocks his ear, listening. Ah, it's an anger. It's... He cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. It's the Kraken. Anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Uh, fine, we'll hit one. Just like that. The narrator's supposed to say this. I guess they couldn't he couldn't be bothered. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back, the other catches you before you lose your footing. There, you heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Ah, this is good news, ghetto. Good news. Good news. Fine. We'll no, keep you beautiful idiot. idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. So he's like a Scottish ninja. He just hears all this shit. Pardon my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. It's the hat. The only reason he talks like this, I think. Shouldn't talk like that about such a magnificent... What? There's nothing good about... You are a sailor. Good for you. Well, excuse me. The leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, ghetto. Oh, he might have a plan. Continue stroking his beard. A beatific smile on his oh, face. Oh, fuck him. Acknowledge you anymore. You gonna do... Alright, I'll talk to Dirty Boy. One of them. A divine order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. Wow, great story. You're not gonna tell me anymore? I nothing, okay? It was one of them. One of your people. Human. Overly... I didn't do worried. Nothing, okay? Well, we found the murderer. We found murderer. It was one of them. What's the crazy Adele woman? Sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice. She's playing craps. I want in. Sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Can I join you? Her head. Game for one, I'm afraid. This solitaire dice. Rolling dice. Deciding fates. She eyes you quite seriously. I'm very sassy. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it. Oh, that's right. That was the thing in this. They eat body parts and learn shit. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? Are you are you hitting on me? Yeah, she gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. A very special someone. Elves are weird. You were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. Aww. Well, I'm a barbarian. I don't care. Snap at her. She doesn't know what the seven houses are talking about. Well, I wouldn't be embarrassed, but I'm not going to be wide-eyed, but I have to choose one of them. Of course it is. The truth's right there. Skin deep. No, you've just licked basement floor. You know what You know what to look for in a taste. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. Not really a secret. I don't lick and tell. Eh, eh. Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. Don't call me honey. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. No. Oh, everyone's got to have that cool little... I'll take it all. Got to have the cool ending to whatever they're talking about. Can't just let the sentence be. Is this... I'll take it, Grease. That is my key. You looked at me. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub story somewhere else. Cool. Let's talk to you. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. 
A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. This one of the guys I had to watch your back. New choose. It could have been. There's a murderer on board, and I'd bet three months' pay it's this tramp Ifan. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. I think Ifan was one of the names I could have chose for a character. Should I salute him? Uh, I'm gonna salute him. Ifan seems amused at the gesture, but he bats your arm down from the salute when the you served. Uh. Yeah, I did. Blame you. Enough bad blood on this ship already. It's nice to meet another pair of boots, anyway. Got like a Middle Eastern name, but he got a British accent too. In and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. George Clooney. He just knows. Pinches less that way, right? I don't know. Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifa. Gob it. Now, you. Uh, it doesn't seem like. Oh, why does he we think you're a murderer? Each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back. From oh, okay. Effect, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. How can he know that's him? He's wearing a fucking. If and grins. Put all over his head. Pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Johnny Big Pants. No. The dead man, Finn, Finn. is a, I don't know. I had no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. If I was an elf, I could have ate his body and then I would have found out. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Why don't they just have all police people just be fucking cannibalistic elves that would just solve all the issues it's a damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough no they're just like no we don't deal with elves because the elves you'd be like listen you want to solve all crimes just start eating bodies that have died and problem solved really uh he knows anything about where you i don't care about fort joy right now maybe i'll tell you about it in the joy away from interested parties uh, i guess we'll learn the about joy. it I've heard a lot. Nothing good. Bishop Wonder runs. To meet the ringmaster himself. Uh. Let's see. Ah, eh, fine. Easy now. I might think the same, but Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You. What's your name? I can't imagine him at fourteen oh, years old. Him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. You're not a bee. Name. Uh, I'm gonna refuse. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. I'll find out. I always do. Now away with you at once. I mean, then why'd you ask if me? Him? I didn't care. An elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in. Yep. All right, let's go talk to these lizard people. Now, if they talk with tss, I'm just going to throw my hands up. What have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. So, lizards are posh British people, I guess. looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. He wants my teeth. Ow, oh, humor him. There's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. Be a dentist? After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. You want my teeth? Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? I can't tell a turkey from a turnip. Oh, goodness, no. And don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, Taylor? Miller time can't weave. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. I mean, I 
can't choose what I'm wearing. On then to my final query. Query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Uh, fine. We'll 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 say one to see if it. The very basics then. I suppose that's a start. That's a so, start. Three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? What was the point of this? Per your own testimony, you can groom, but you have the taste buds of a dung beetle and the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. I didn't choose these clothes. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. Oh, darn. I would have to punch him in the you face. probably come to terms with the fact that you've half a mind full stop. You'll never attain the rank of slave with manners <laughs> such as that. I like this guy. Still. Own your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. I like hate like, Keep dreaming, or like know? hate, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Demon's testes, you mean? Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. How would you eat honeyed meat? That sounds gross. Is there anything here I can steal? I'll take a barrel. I don't know where I'm hiding it. Ooh, two bucks. Someone's gonna be mad I stole their two dollars. Is there anything? What's in the sack? Nothing in the sack. Can I? Nothing else? All right, let's let's go in the store. Maybe the murderer hangs out in here. Oh, I had the key, that's right. That's where all the good stuff is. Is there? An orange. A stick. Minor healing potion. Nothing in there. I got that. Ooh, restoration scroll, we'll take that. More money. I didn't mean to take that, but I'm not gonna. Mash taters. Mash taters. <clears throat> Pocket knife. Give me that tater. What's in the journal? That just says, Dear Diary, I killed him. No text, sketches of dragons, fill every page, Harley Tanner, but clearly enthusiastic. Give me the garlic. Give me all the garlic. What's on here? I've learned some recipes. Let's hit key. Uh. Well, it says I learned some things, but what did I what did I learn? If I put like a orange in here, then mashed potatoes. Bye. Well, what did I? I learned to spell. Artistic journal key book. Where's the ingredients? Effects unknown. What if I find potato? Garlic potato. Do I get rid of either? But double garlic. Give me garlic bomb. Alright. What if I just consume? I'm now smelly. That's funny. Is it in here? Talents. Oh. Well, it says I learned. I just don't know where I learned. Seven turns. I'm going to be stinky. <laughs> oh, I can't go that way. Well, eight, can I... <laughs> oh, that's funny. I talked to Sneak. Alright. Don't mind my farting. I just had some really bad gas, guys. Maybe it's a... Now they're gonna say something horrible to me. And you want me to a prisoner, I'm gonna go... 
all out prisoner. Take all this. This requisition. Note. Another requisition. What's what's uh, all? What is in the rec? Sorcerer's hold. Oh, they want. Especially children, don't others are sullen, don't blame when change is rough. They'll make new friends sooner or later when they do care for good. The elf with the dice, the lone wolf, the creaky voice woman in the kitchen. Some folks will get over it. Yeah. Oh, I already read that. I'm gonna eat the tater. Do I have meat? <clears throat> French fried taters. I can take all the cheesy bread I want. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. Scary. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh, she's from the cutscene. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good. God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Very rest of the justice. Perfect opportunity to create a mutiny. Address the sorcerer while she meant by others' lives must end. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. Can I get the cheesy bread before? Do I mean quickly? If she casts sauce, the void woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. I have to fight, lady. Jesus H. Christ. I didn't get the cheesy bread. I didn't think this through. What's what's happened? Tool tips. Highlight objects that can be picked up. Left alt. Give me that cheesy bread. Give me the chubby fish. Wine. More wine. Give me that snapper. Take the jambon. More wine. We're gonna party. Pumpkin soup. What's in here? Never mind the dead bodies everywhere. Ooh. Nothing in the display case. How about the dead body? Nothing on you. Got some gold. Alright, do I have a weapon I can use? What am I good at? I need a goddamn hammer. That's... Staff, shiv. Jointed mace. That's me. New skill. All in. That's a pretty cool build. Let's just ignore the dead bodies. Where is I? There's an area for some more stuff. Anybody die in here? Can I wake him up? The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor. His great beard twisted and tangled around him. He is stock still. You can't see if he's living or dead. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive, thud, thud, thud. but only just. Dead bodies everywhere. Give me your tooth. Dead bodies everywhere. Oh. What? What happened? Must have been the turnips. Must have been the turnips. Slap him. You. You dare <laughs> strike a royal. Ooh. Ooh. The lizard's eyes close as he slips into unconsciousness. I guess I'm not supposed to. Oh, there's water coming in everywhere. Ifan lies motionless, curled on the ground like an ant. Let's His shake eyes him. flicker open. Ifan cries out. I don't know who then Lucian is. Fall. How about Ooh, you got money? Where's your little notebook now, buddy? Not yet. That's it's no use. You're the dice roll darkly. 
They're rolling for me. You got. Well, where's your dice? I want to steal them. In here. I ain't, there's nothing in here. Go talk to the meeps or the beeps, whatever the hell she was called. The young woman lies in a heap on the floor. She's breathing normally, but her eyes are wide open, like those of a corpse. Dark, grayish black clouds swirl through them. Maybe she is in water. Cool story, lady. Everyone's dead. But dead people don't need money. Knuckle flesh. I'll solve the mystery posthumously. The Magister lies on posthumously. If I go up this way. The hatch is blocked. Uh, to find another way. Convenient. I'll get to running. Not the devil's tenips. How well is pathing? It worked. Press L to view. I have to find people. Hey, doggy. I'll be your friend. Everyone else. There's loot. I need to loot. Those dudes shaking. It's over here. I'm gonna go back this way first. I need. I feel like. Damn, that doesn't feel well. Onwards and upwards. Left click. Bust that door open. I did it. Muddy mittens. I will wear those because they're muddy mittens. No, not combined. Ah! Like Muddy mittens. Who are you? Magister Ricks? Hurt off. Isn't that like... In the death. Magnum P.I. or something. This is gonna like... By the blind grace, what was... He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Another sorcerer! The Magister's companion doesn't blink, frozen in place at the sight of you. I can help him if you get this stupid device Even off me. I knew how to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Some crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got void bugs swarming up top. Sorcerer mutiny! He whispers loudly to the other Magister. Mutiny! He's got a nice little twerk Rick's dance. grabs his sword, which shakes in the rhythm of his trembling hand. It's mutiny. If there's familiars again, they'll stand down. There is no mutiny. He almost died to the woman's hands. I think I'm intelligent. Magister Swan is persuasion the failure. Look to each other. Then Your lies and I think I done goof. Okay, what do I got for abilities? Bloodsucker. Give me your juice. Then I've got basic attack. Rush forward in a straight line. Knock down. End turn. Oh, ah. Nope. I didn't want. <sighs> Pretty agile. Well, let's go with all in. Almost got his. Uh, uh, is it four? I can't do it. I have been encouraged. He's got a bunch of armor now. I got a cool little stretch I was doing. Um, what's this ability do? Source muted. Ah, okay. Set status shocked.
Oh, I gotta kill him. Kill him! Uh... Attack, be attacked by bees. Oh, well, let's just keep hacking away. Is that healing me, or am I getting, uh... Executed. Alright, Murtoff, what you got on you? Just bunny. What about the other dude? Uh... What else we got in here? We got the desk. Shabby letter? What is shabby? About the letter. The joy, ink, angry black stuff. Whatever. Oh, guess I can't go that way. I wasn't very persuasive earlier. Hey, doggy. Want to be my friend now? Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I take. Then I do inventory. Drop item. Well, I guess I can't. Well, I can do this. What well, might. What was in the way? Of of the, th god damn it! That was how I was gonna get past the fire. Now I can't. What if I? And then what was it alt? There we go. Splish splash. Anything good up here? God damn it! Need to get off this wreck and quick. Is there anything else? Alright, I've checked here already. This guy. You just got money. I mean, I, you're wearing armor. I could take the armor. Something's pounding on the hull. It's the Kraken. Ooh, you got a lot of stuff. Inventory. Yeah, fancy clothes now. Is there any more dead bodies before I go? There's a dead body here. I'll take a bow. Why not? Alright, so now I take you, put you here. Look at that. You pass through the door. And are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular, and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. Why is it with people in Cranley Hubert? No, no, no. What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? You don't have a voice box. It touches fire, it turns into must when wet, it cannot even resist acid. No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. I mean, you were a human. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? Oh, yeah, because he used to be the guy who was alive. Now he's not. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book. Fra yes, indeed. It's the look of someone that wants to read the bloody book he's holding. Now, if you're really quite finished, I believe you have lifeboats to flee Let's to. Let's see. Please, I was no more an elf than you are those rags you're wearing. I had a mask rather ingeniously designed. Kind of creepy which looking. allowed me to take that primitive form. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Still, she'll drown. Little the scene. Fools. I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. The skeleton holds up his book in one quick frost. I am trying to discover if there is any, and I will. Be All right. If I go on, go. He doesn't like me, but I kind of liked him. But now I don't know if I like him because he's kind of a major dick. There are more dead bodies, more chests, more money. Any more? Yeah, one more. Alright, I'm gonna go through that door. Let's 
Skull marked door. That seemed serious. The marking on the door was painted recently. Judging from its pungent scent, you press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm. Simply, simply gray. gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. Let's yank that door. Budge. Use my key. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Um, maybe that was a bad idea. What is... Ooh, tentacles. Well, I don't think I'm going to get much closer. It's a weird effect. Death fog, huh? All right, I guess I guess we're fucking off. Get, let's get to trotting away. If you're that worried, you'd be running way faster than this lady. Ah, Here we go. Nothing. There, there are barrels. I can hide from me, huh? What about this barrel? Okay, nothing in that one either. Go up the stairs. Go up the... Mm. Go up the stairs. Oak smash! Burn it away with fire, but perhaps it could be of use. Understood. What am I... What am I... What if I hit, uh, three? That weasel is bleeding. Whack you. Fuck him up. You can't beat me. Oh, it's multiple attacks they can do. Punch him. Kill him. Critical hit. What do you got? Nothing on you? Nothing. Raw lumpy giblets. Okay, nothing on you. Let's just keep sauntering our way. Uh, I don't want to be in that. I don't want to be in that. Is there anything over here? Oh, I heard noises over here. I'm not ready to go just yet. There's stuff here. I need to get it. Can't move encumbered. Convenient. This is cumbersome as all hell. Is the pathing smart enough? I'll take the wand. Is there anything else here? Get a burned body. Money. I don't think there's anything else used here. So. I have too much crap. Let's get rid of you. Alright. Um, healing potion. All right, let's let's skedaddle, as they say. Get to the boat. Get okay. There's nothing else. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. Shut your trap, kid. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. 
You're greasy looking. Said there were other people down there. We we need to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Call the dwarf, yell belly coward. Check for survivors. Ship trembles beneath your feet. The kids right. Go back. Tell the kid. He is a coward. Um. Where am I going? Is there a ladder? What am I looking for? I don't. Oh, right there. As the uh, essentially makes love to the boat. I have to pick up her. The magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking wound. I mean. What? It's it L. Lower it. No one deserves. Yeah, there's one right here. Apparently, I can't. Do I? I can't carry her. But her body is definitely glowing like it's a thing. The Magister lies on. I can't pick you up. I'm a bit befuddled. What the hell? Oh. Okay. We're gonna charge at you. I thought Void Woken was supposed to be scary. Aren't you just all the piss and vinegar? I've faced worse. Elemental arrowheads on the ground. I don't understand what that was supposed to do, but okay. Let the games begin. This is supposed to be a uh, display of their abilities. She's just showing off now. Didn't need to do this. I don't... See, I attacked. I did one ability, but apparently that wasn't cool enough. I want your hat, buddy. Prepare yourself. Am I going to be able to do anything? I want to be encouraged. Encourage me. I attack very slowly. Oh, enjoy your circle jerk. Fucking. Thank you. I gotta do shit. Alright, fine. Can I pick up knocked out sassy lady? as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. With jagged movements, she raises Lakes her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong-smelling tincture. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister Siwan's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Uh, hold the cloth tighter to the wound and rub the red blood cloth and do it like a tourniquet. It's working. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. C1 clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. C1 struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Oh. He's ripping the ship apart. Oh, get up. That's weird. TV technical tech 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 tentacles. Can't fucking talk. What do I get for being nice? It's my uncle. Terry. 
hasn't shaved in a few weeks. I have plans for you, child. What about the other one? Or is that the one I saved? I wasn't wearing a robe. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort George. Ah, uh, so this is, I think, the actual beginning of the early access shit when I first started at Price, what, two years ago? I think it was. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. Hi, Judge Orivend. Orivend. Hi, Judge. Hi, Judge. I'm a judge too. Judge Dredd. Oh, so these are all the characters. Okay. That's whatever weird name lady. Pirate ninja dude. That was Dice Lady. That's Devil's Testicles, whatever the fuck it was called. Load in for joy. Yeah, this is definitely the early access shit. Get up. Those void woken made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? This must be Fort Joy. Let's talk to the shells. What happens if I eat a shell? I have to learn. Consume. That didn't sound healthy. Did it do anything to me? Water resistance, okay. Check the crate. Nothing in the crate, alright. I can't walk through the water? No. Okay. Let's go up here. This looks. Fucking looks like a thing right out of chaos. This is the weird lady, weird girl. The child has a small mirror in his hands. I think it was. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. You can trust me. Why? <laughs> that was a weird why. <laughs> The people who put me here are human, and the people who took my parents away are human too. What do you mean because I'm a... I don't. This is a weird kid are voice. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Do I look like one? The looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. Is he checking to see if he's still breathing, or is he doing imaginary coke? I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Well, why are you out here alone? No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside, anyway. Isn't it safe out here to ship attack? But you didn't die. That you survived the attack by the skin of my teeth. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. All right. I don't seem I scared. I am, but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. That's deep, kid. But you can stay out here with me if you want. You don't seem that scary. I could breeze electrify you right here. Oh, well, you're not in the water. Anything in the vase? Like both, right? Nothing in that vase. Up here. I think this is a bridge to nowhere. Yeah. Fancy hand banner stuff. What's this? Ping. Oh, that's so like multiplayer. Oop. Whisper wood. A short stick. What's in the barrel? Nothing's in that barrel. Up. Oh. We've got a battle. Die weasel. Void woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. Well, I wanted to charge you, but I hit the wrong button. You I know you. 
Weasels. Weasel beetles aren't supposed to talk. Um, what does this do? Um, let's just try it. Source muted. Well, oh, it's counting on me. That's bad. Give me your juice. All right, he's bleeding. I guess I heal myself every time I hit. Oh, this is my AP. It's the bubbles down here. I'm remembering. Why are you stretching when you're being attacked by probing? Just fucking end him. Okay, so that's what executed does. Gotcha. You missed. Knock him down. Spend a time getting back up. I should be able to kill him this round. There we go. Ooh, I leveled up. Uh, character. No, that's sneaking. Person. Uh, what if I just... Uh, God, L, O, P, I. Understood. Go back. I. There we go. Alright, let's go to... A lot of stuff's gonna be based off of... What's the necromancer stuff? Based off of intelligence. Okay, so it's gonna be mostly be... In... <laughs> fight the sneeze, fight the sneeze. Hammer. We'll do that. And then we'll just stick with intelligence. There we go. Those are done. Two-handed is what cheese. going to be using because that's what her picture looked like so I'm going to stick with that and then combat stuff oh this is non-combat haggling skills uh, persuasion telekinesis I don't care about these two on this one um, persuasion seems useful do persuasion and then those things I don't worry about all right leveled up drowned and eaten by a void woken I wonder in which order shiny blood leather scraps take the leather scraps ah take crap all right I killed killed the weed the I keep wanting to call them weasels because they make weird weasel noises Uh, learn about crafting. Let's read. Tie your knife to a stick or a branch. Now you've got a sword of sorts. So I've got a knife. Uh, see if I can combine. Do I have a stick? Combine with pocket knife. an arrow. Oh. I'm clever. <laughs> Be a lot of, like, guesswork. Sharp rock. I, I, sharp rock. Sharp rock. I bet you I can make arrows with that. If I can find the two. There's a yellow guy over here. Oh, it's this dude. Rotate the camera so we can get a better view of them. The red, nope. Red. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be? I mean, he couldn't be anybody else. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. He's the one who took you by the jaw and sized you up like a damn horse. I'll be nice. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer, or a duelist. You lock eyes with his, two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I did survive, yes. And yes. chances are I wouldn't have, had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole. Dreadful you hole. have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. 
More than a nod, though less than a bow. Uh, bump. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Shall we? Now, then, if there's nothing further. Uh, what are you planning to do next? You really must know. I haven't quite decided yet. I have a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing here contemplating the wave. The wave. He sighs dramatically. Tell me. What? What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Let's. Oh, I can't. I can only see 45 degree angle. See a crack in infested wasteland. You never want to go near again. <laughs> he looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. You're going to own the water? I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Law. Why an empire? Because it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Yeah, Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Credulous. Well, do you just stand there gawking like gawking. an abacus? Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? No oh, idea. May the seven have mercy on their own creation. I am the Red Prince. The all-conqueror. The world tamer. The spouse of the sun. Can't marry the sun. Of you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. Grandiloquent. I've learned a new word. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. Fascinating. I'm sure that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Uh, you two have to sort this and that to sort out. Welcome to tag along once. Let's see. Face of that, tag along. Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? Miller time has her own mission. On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. Dog's body. You've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. They would all be mad at me if they all. If I didn't go back, I'm sure they all still would have survived. And they all would have been super pissy on with me. One condition. Oh. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. Fine. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Me, we'll Why don't you go the skin looking elf? You probably help you. Ah, uh, fine, I'll, I'll Jolly come. good. So now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out it goes without saying. I have a giant stick, and you have a butter knife on a twig. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Uh, as the fighter sounds perfect, true of any vocation. Uh. I'd rather come up with a little muscle. We'll go with, uh. I think I'm gonna stick with one, actually. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. That settles it. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, oh. your... Oh, he can scroll, husband, okay. Or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. My lord. As your luck would have it, I lord. fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Luggage. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it. You'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Cheerio. Great. I have a body. Body, 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 body. There's another yellow one that way. I'll come back to you, but first, I need to explore the rest of the island. Give me some mushrooms. Or mushroom. 
more mushrooms. Go over here. The entire map must be explored. A black cat. A herald of Ooh, wisdom in my homeland. How fortuitous. Talk the, to the cat's kitty. eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eye is clear, and it shakes its head, confused. And you? Yes. Oh, no, is no. Is it an audience ah, ah. desire? Uh, uh, let's just hit stick. And it's F2? Okay. You talk to the cat's kitty. eyes are clouded, its eyes clear. No, okay, you can't. So F1, we'll go back. I don't have... What happened? Why can't I move the can Why? What? I want... Link them together. Okay. What? What happened? Why is my camera acting weird now? Shit got weird. Why is my camera like this? Something. Ah! Options, gameplay, controls. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I just got a calf. I think last time, if I remember, I played this, the cat exploded. In some fight I think I had. There was a yellow guy over here. Go to this yellow guy. Somehow I've lost camera following my mouse or mouse pointer whatever oh we lords of the flies with the kids here Yeah. I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Save your life, that's all you got to tell me. I never want to set foot on a stuffy old boat ever again. No, oh, now the camera's back. Wait, wait. What's over here? I hear whispering out of the side of my head. I think that's the port. I'm going to worry about that later. There's a few things I said. Still remember, I will take Long Branch. They stop moving. Ah, uh, I'll have to get up to that thing. Oop, 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 oop. I see you, Barrel. Thought you could get by. Pull a fast one on me, did you? This tab map. Uh, tab. Oh, that just takes my. That just takes my weapon out. What's up, yeah? Uh, take that bedroll. Take that cooking pot. Take that skull. Never know when you'll need a skull. Take that shovel, too. Anything else here? Nope. Alright, let's get back down. Okay, that's the kid. Yeah, I think the cat exploded when I cast, like, a thunderbolt or some shit. It was pretty funny. Felt bad. I killed Kitty, but... I remember you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm meowing, kitty. Can you not follow me in here? I guess I not. This leads. As the alcove opens up, you see the, the weird looking body that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse. 
prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reached down and gripped the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Really hard to try to believe that skeletons, assuming that they were humans at some point, forget what humans are. Unless it's like Matt, you'd be like, alright, you're back, but you don't remember how to be a human, whatever you were. I'll cough ah, lately. No! Stay back! Don't Oh. It's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Uh let's see. Why its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? Couldn't tell a face you. That seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. <laughs> I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Uh... What about a skull? Craft? Please. You hardly think I am one of your breed, do you? You have never seen anything like it because you have never met anyone like me. Simply put, I am an eternal. Eternal. And you are not. You have my sympathies. Indeed, no one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather absent. At least from this realm. Mm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil field. Scared the cat Perhaps away. There I'll find my answers. Uh, there's some sort of cult. cult? <clears throat> Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. Keep scaring the I cat guy. I ask you to imagine an eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. <laughs> but I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Uh... Do you need a companion? I suppose. Circumstances being what they are. I guess skeleton bro now. Advantageous. Cool. You seem more... at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Right. Excellent. It is Miller time. While we are conversing, Perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. So you actually do get to assign them to be a certain thing when they join your party, course, I guess. the arcane arts are my little and Then now you actually get to, like, but specify what they are. That's does cool. Not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? I'm sticking with skeleton wizard. Someone with a little muscle. No, um, really? um... I am adept as any I hit the wrong button hit. if I had your mind I'd rather wish I could change it too but very well do take I want you to be a wizard that's what I want you're a wizard I could do that with one hand behind my you're a wizard fanny shall we get on splendid splendid very well. Let's... what's on the dead man dusty hat I think I'm gonna wear a hat Miller wants a hat Miller's gonna get a hat Miller, actually, no, you look terrible in that hat. We're going to give it to uh, the Red Prince. Red Prince is going to wear a dapper hat. You look. Okay, that looks even worse on you. Whatever. I want it to be goofy looking. Oh, I got the wrong guy. I want you. That's what I want. Peace of mind scroll. Take them all. Where's some pants? Do you put pants? Uh, two armor. Yeah. I need to... Can I set fire? Who has fire? Searing daggers, boss strike, ignition. Everybody back up. 
It is ignition. Yes, burn all that away so we can climb. I remember mechanics. There we go. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Uh, tell her shoes. quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with oh, I don't want to hit the bear bear. I can't tell her to calm down. Is locked with yours for a moment. She All right. Talk with Unis. Go get out. You're not welcome here. Go she pig. <laughs> I don't mean your harm. You suspiciously. Please. Please just go. Oh, I can't say. Call me sheep pig. That's mean. Nope. No, we're going back down here. So does this hap happen every time I change character? Is it? Unlocks. Level two. All right. We're gonna fight turtles. Maybe. I don't know. They don't seem angry. I think I'll relax and not fight turtle. No reason to. There is a dead body over here. Oh. They turned fucking angry. They're transforming. Curse me. Everyone in a corner is now this. We are going to charge this turtle. And then we're going to uh spaces and turn. Good lord, that did some damage. Alright, so Let's see you. We're in oil. Can't move, they're crippled. Fine. Shoot three flaming daggers at a target of your choice, creating fire service and dealing four to five damage. Fossil strike. Uh, ignition. So play, that's play dead. We're gonna go with uh, fossil strike. And fuck up this turtle. And then we're gonna turtle kiss. Look at him shuffle angrily. So we've got battle stomp into the ground, knocking down all no allied characters in front of you, hitting them for damage. There's non cursed surface and cloud. Throw your shield at an enemy, dealing damage can bounce to another enemy. Okay, fortify. Dragon blaze, bad thing. That's a good armor drain. Let's, uh... This might clear the fire out. So that's... Then we're gonna end our shields up. Turtle kisses. Let's, uh, Turtle's got a lot of health. We need to bleed the turtle. Fuck this turtle up. Ah, so. This will probably kill the turtle. Okay, the turtle's dead. Is 
So tax dead turtle. Drain some life. Getting that's up all in. Destroyed. I am a badass. Hopefully this doesn't hit my character. It did. Hey, sweet. Okay, all in's a really good spell. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give all this stuff to. So, inventory. Three to five, six turtle claw. Turtle claw. Yep. All right. F one. Swallowed too much seawater by the looks of him. Let's check his corp. Foolish to attempt an escape by sea in these waters. What's the diary? Uh, rat's gone. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, that's right. Every time I change characters. Life Essence? Alright. I don't know what that is. The fish rack. I'll take that. Do, do anything over here. Let's keep going this way. There's some stuff here. Wrong button again. Take all that. Anybody pick lock. Is it not enough that you travel with me? Must go on then. Bark away. Uh, F two. Rubbish. Wrong. I didn't want to pick you up. Put it down. Lock pick. Will he fail? I have no idea if he has any lock picking skill. Let's try you. You can't. Okay, let's try F1. I can't either, so. Let's try one more time. Ah, I'm still on XCOM controls. It's nope, nope, nope. Nope. Alright. I know that there's probably a quest that has to come back here later. So I'll worry about that. I get everybody here. They take their time. Crying kid doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm not going to force it. What is this? Oh, it's tension. Okay. Yes. Legs of an elf. Alright. Seen enough in there. I know I have to come back later. But if I do remember, there is a chest here. Uh, frost scroll, physical armor, magic armor. I want to wear the fancy stuff. You? I mean, you're gonna be a tank too, so. But we're all gonna need. Now, I think it was over here is where that. Found. Here lies a nameless inmate, 
May he find the peace denied him in life in the Hall of Echoes. Oh, so I don't think anybody over here is actually has perception or whatever it's called. Let's zoom out on map a little bit. So I've really searched everything I can in here, so all I really have to do is go to So let's head in that direction. Go here. <clears throat> have their dramatic uh, introduction to. We already know the truth, Magister. No. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay You're weird looking. Sight. Our Godwoken speaks. Hey, it's Miller time. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, things are new. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Make it so small, I can notice now, step forward. In the list of treasury has been great, or the run by the pettiest tyrants. The shaking man there to hurry up. Four or five. It's going to be four. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. So she stabbed her own tongue? Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? With us? Yes, your holiness. Or you're with them. I believe we're done here. He just... What a waste. <laughs> okay. Come. We'll be needed elsewhere. Who are you talking to? Oh, you're talking. Well, everyone's got an exclamation point over their head. Let's talk. The lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. Harsh times, harsh measure. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Fascinating. What's left? Gold, gold. Her leg. <laughs> None of us are elves. Alright, so there's nothing up here. Question? Yep. Did I go down there already? Yes, I did. Yes. Now we go down proper. The ghetto. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. Yeah, whatever the fuck those that were. That, Magister, that was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order. Order. Dallas. How do you not know this? Um. Obey generals, not bishops. If you doubt Alexander, Pipsqueak. You haven't seen him or the Hammer in combat. The Yammer. They squash sorcerers like the bugs they are. You are. Now why don't you move along and sell Wine. A Magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Uh, Old English. A while, though. We're up to our hoods in Sinners these days. we up to our hoods. Yeah, I just wish I was able to retain saw him, didn't you? The hammer and these Alexander. English Cockney, whatever the fuck they were. <laughs> Languages. Accents. Uh, you only wanted to thank the Magister for his service. That doesn't sound like what I would do. Uh, it was a gruesome spectacle. Fortune, sister. <coughs> you lot can't help your condition, but at least the humans are yet ain't celebrating the source plague. 
Uh, knows more about the You're allowed to leave this place. How did you become a guard? We're in the time of Lucian, of course. Lucian, of course. God himself. It was all, it was all glory, all, all goodness. goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. That cat is spazzing out. See, I've I've lost it. Uh, what do you approve of this place? His life to protect Riverlon. Riverlon. We let the void woken get to it now. Well, we'd have lost him for nothing. We div. For joy, I know summer camp. <laughs> said it were but it's the best we've got to protect the realm you know about the world of the vine but i reckon when god himself gives his life to protect you you don't <coughs> waste the gift tough a lot it with everything you've got so that's what we do uh you know more about him son of the dead divine don't know when we'll get a new one but alexander's looking after us in the meantime all the same all the same a solid sort don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. I want that hammer. That name for a reason she did. <coughs> when you give up the big dark, darkness that's, that's inside, inside you. Take your fault. It's take. There, mine. But it's there all the same. They're all the same. Can I bother with you? I don't want any of your stuff. On a cure for it's them. weird that I have more money than you and I'm a prisoner here. <coughs> I was. I wonder how many takes he had to get to right cough. And once you're cured, your life will start again. I'll take my life, thank you. Who the hell are you? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself. They, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. Tell the man you were close enough to watch them murder one of their own. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. Everyone is a traitor to someone. The divine orders all that stands between everything you see and a void woken's throat. Any traitor to them is a traitor to us all. He's rather nice about the people Believe imprisoning him. Don't. The divine order doesn't need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of ourselves. Still not entirely sure, even after they've said I wasn't supposed to be here. Why well, I'm actually here. What's in here? This money lying around. I clicked on you. Fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. What child? You hear that, Farah? You gotta cut that out. What's happened to you? Two of them have a history of being stuck here. It's bad enough without a din on top. I'll be. I'll I see his help, but none that I can give. Mad as a cuckoo, that one, and twice as loud. Seems perfectly sane if. Distraught. Don't even begin to cover it. She's hollering after that child of hers. Killed by a void woken, she was. Been dead and buried for a month now. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. I told All right. him at noon exactly. Please. Please. You must help me. No one here will help me. Not one of these bastards. A child is missing. My baby. They don't ever take into account that I actually talked to somebody or her about any of this. What is the kid's Irma. name? She's called Irma. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sick with worry. Completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. What do you know about her disappearance? Her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment. And she was gone. No one will help you look. Turns people cold. Cold, cold and, and wicked. wicked. That fellow I have Jeff a cat. You want the cat? It just started following me. Evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? Where's the doll? Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her. Mummy says this is for her little chicken. And well, it's time to come home. That's what I call her. My little chicken. My little she chicken. She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirt sleeves. Really doesn't have a shirt sleeve. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. You are an angel. Truly, you. I truly am. Mummy's right here. Where are you? 
Um, what does this say? Quests. I already did that one. He hasn't changed a bit. Oh, Mother's nightmare. You have spoken to her. She's looking for her daughter. Near here, huh? Talk again. Oh, you're back. Please. Did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be? I heard. You're talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscure stay away from that man. Do you hear me? Irma is What does it say now? Uh what? My No, that wasn't it. This it? No, it wasn't. Did I finish the quest and she ignores me? <laughs> she don't listen to reason. Maybe you'll have better luck. Did I finish the quest without doing a thing? Just saying that, yo, this guy says you're nuts. I mean, I still have her kid's doll. Search all the crates. You'll never find you can find things. Ah Go up here. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Mego. Mego. Have you seen him? I have not. Useless. Well then it is a very important matter that I locate this Mego. Tell me if you hear mention of him. The murderous geist, huh? All right. Looky, looky, oh. here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, do we? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Sure. Chuff to you, chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. It's gonna get beat because of cheating. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee then. Well, you're clearly cheating. Blaming a bloke you just met for your misfortune, are ya? Ease off, or I'll go ahead and double what you owe. No one mentioned having to pay to stay here. Bit and they'll say they had to loot their interment fee from your corpse. Uh, let's be antagonistic. This is how much I care. Everyone, good job. And we're gonna do. There's, there's like no penalty to not do this. Although it's apparently I'm on fire, so we're going to fossil strike you. And then we're going to set you on fire. Oh, I guess I can't. Can I not? Is there a thing in the way? I guess the thing's in the way. Well, I guess we're just gonna... Well, he is undead. He's immune to bleeding. What if I just set you all on... Fire? I guess I can. Um, seven. I think they're gonna be close enough where it can bounce off people. Nice. I probably should have moved. 
but let's uh, heal myself then I think I might actually die All right, let's do Is this going to work? Guess not. Shit's in the way. Ah. So 3 uh, Let's not Ralvo, level two. Well, let's start blinking away at him. And then we're going to... Okay, he blocked it. Alright, you need to... Smash him. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. And then... Do I have any... I don't want to do that because it'll hurt him. This, not to bench him. All right, everyone, get out of the fire. Get out of the fire, everyone. All right. So everyone's real fucking hurt. No, I want F F one. Almost died. God damn it, I don't... Come loot his body. Alright, we got, we got some stuff. Ralvo's dead. Uh, we'll take that. I will take this. I'll take that too. I'll take that. Take that too. Uh, inventory. Read. Okay, that's fine. Um, one-handed axe. It's not me. Six to six. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna be using this instead. Knife on a stick. That's exactly what it is. Okay, no. If I can steal my money. I'll show you. Overtaken devourers all. Let's uh take a resty poo. Get everyone her health up. Let's get skeletons health up. Less the void overtaken devourers all. And then uh, F3. I've F3'd. Now, Lizard Boy sleeps. We need to get me a healer at some point. 
of stuff here. Send us your children, your supplicant. Greetings, child. I find myself in your so-called divine lands. There are no more my lands than his. He may feel like an inmate here, but you and your captors are the same stuff. In race and customs, if not heart. You'll see what a difference that can make. Does he say anything else to me? Alright, I guess you have nothing for me. Can I? I can't get in there. Why is this cat still following me? I've got nothing for you. Fishbone, I don't need a fish. Don't need a fishbone. I'm sure whoever guy that guy was a gang part of, that was a sentence at some point. I'm sure that whatever gang that guy was a part of are going to be very mad at me that I haven't to uh, murder a bunch of his friends, or at least his cronies, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing over here, so I'll go down. Talk to you. The woman is scrabbling at her throat as though she can hardly breathe. Uh, back my head and watch her choke. <coughs> How can you stand it? There's nothing I can't stand. I, like you. I feel this collar choking the life from me. It's all I can think of. Moira. Her hands move again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar, but there's no space to be made. I... It's getting... I can't really... I want to be able to help you, lady, but I can't. Apparently, I chose poorly. Give me all that money. Slowly walk to where I'm telling you to go. Yes, this is not painful to watch in any way. Or nothing. You, you there. You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you, are you quite alone? What do you want to? I have a proposition. Something, something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp yeah. is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. What are you planning? I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone. Like a wad of meat tied to a stick. Taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it. And I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Um... Why? Leave whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. I have companions Old to think about. But Good luck with your... Good luck with your friend. I mean, you can take this cat off me and it's just fucking follow me around. Ho oh, oh. ho! Here it come to shake me down for my knickers, have ya? No. They're all I got left after your buddies were through with me. Are you coming on to me? I'm not one of the brutes. Not so. Huh. You look just like them. But then again, you have rectangles for feet. Telling your kind of heart. No harm in Fucking like planks of wood. Man, that was kind of just nothing. Let's head over here. There's a crab down here that has a name. Chirp, chirp. Right, right down here? Oh, game save. Something's gonna happen. What is about to happen? Level 3. I can't do this yet. A bit too high for me. Well, I'm going to calmly walk away right now. 
I guess talk to this this guy. Talk to. Yes. Is it an audience you desire? No, I hit the wrong button. Take my leave. Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. Oh, it's you. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah. You made it from the wreck. Oh, that. That won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. Okay. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. <laughs> Bleeding nail must be... Uh, charmed or something. Uh, go on then, give it a go. You yeah, that goal. the plank and pull. But strain as you might, the pesky plank doesn't budge. Uh, forget it. Thanks for trying though. You're a good kid. You're a good I'd kid. I'd offer you a cold one. If I had one on hand. I have like 10 bottles of wine. For your trouble. No, but I'd hope to build something with it that would be worth a thousand. Yeah, it would have fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap. But I couldn't help myself from trying. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these. That like hairy arms or what the fuck is that? Break. Well, on to plan B. He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. Aye, was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. People just don't Maybe leave here. you don't. Ooh. He stands before you and pokes you in the side, seizes your shoulder with a great strong hand. Don't poke me. There's something of you, you know. You don't have to accept your fate on this bloody island. You can leave here. Get on with your life. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Sure. That's the spirit. Ray. He lifts an invisible cap and bows. He did a have a cool hat. I wonder what happened to it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. I like your name. Thank you kindly. I earned it myself. How did you earn tell it? You when you're older. All right. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin, and I've picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. Sure. So what'll it be? I'll take Battle Mage. Then it's settled. That does settle it. Well, that's that sorted. Alright, hooray. Who are you? Ha! I found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red then dead. Gonna be another attempt in your life. Attempt, mate. Not if I can bloody help it. Time's up, your highness. Let's dance. It, it's seven time. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is weird. But, alright. So. Uh... Knock him down. Missed it. Great. Well, he needs to back up and let's just wait. You get rid of the flame. It didn't really work. What's this one do? Get rid of the uh, fire on you. 
And then you, what do you got? Set the shock status with Tiger within arm's length and deals damage. Shocked for two turns. Petrifying touch. Flurry. Well, Blinding Radiance. Let's, uh... Oh, we'll just, uh, wait then. Critical backstab. Jesus. Well, let's, uh... There we go. Got a lot of armor I gotta get through. So... There, all of that's gone. And now... We're just gonna hack away. And now... Can you... And then... Can you do flurry? Took a while for him to get back up. That's great. Uh, let's just keep hacking away. Then we're gonna follow it up with this. Then... Walk in the water. Ah! It's annoying every time. I'm fading. You're fine. Get in the water. Let's. Well, that was rather fun, wasn't it? I off. do find it ever so invigorating to cut a cutthroat's throat. Oh, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. This is hardly the first time someone has filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. Mysterious. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. Re this, I really need to get. Uh, Tattered Page, Life Essence, Oil Flask, and Visibility. That's a pretty good... I think it's going to go to him. That sounds like a battle mage type thing. Let's, uh... Consume it. Eat it. Heals 10%. Well, hopefully we don't get any more. Damn it. F1. Hopefully we don't get any more fights. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Uh, now it said I knew rice pies. Cook an apple. Didn't do anything. Cheese bread. What if I did apple and herring? Do a bunch of fish. Do a bunch of fish. Well, this does seem to work. So gonna have chug a bit and you're undead I don't know why you're gonna chug but I'm gonna make you chug you drink who are you again 
Ah. Pain. Apparently that kills him. I'm an idiot. Should have known he's undead. What is unchain? No, I want a chain. So he needs to drink a poison thing. Backwards undead, of course. I should have known that. Oops. Is it not enough that you travel with me? Go on then. Bark away. Uh, Let's see if we can find any uh, method in it. No. Oh. Right. The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. I haven't seen you around here before. New? Can we just talk to somebody like you with a thing on the thing in your neck? I was joking. Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? I she guess. gives you a long look. Maybe you ought to give those companions of yours another chance. Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Hmm. Maybe they mean something to you after all. Thanks for your advice. Why are you alone? I had a family. A husband and a little boy. Oh, you were a healer. We were healers. <clears throat> Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. Yep. Now I'm just waiting for him to call my name. Waiting... And remember, her oh. eyes spark. Kind of you to ask, Stefan. I'll listen she quick. For some time about yeah, the joy okay. radiates from All right. Gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you too. A family recipe. Sure. Take care of yourself. What is a simple rhyme? Read. But you're not telling me how to make dinner. Cooking station. Press G to view. I'm an idiot, it says right there. God damn it. I'm fucking dumb. I can just do boiled potato. Cold mashed potatoes with a hammer. <laughs> Campfire in that. Why would I want to make poison drink? Don't understand why I would want. Like potion. Oh, grenades. Oh, arrows. Armor. Oh, I can make a cold mash tater. So we're gonna use potato just so I can. Where's the hammer? You a hammer? That worked. That's funny. I made taters. Mm -hmm. French fried taters. Oop. We're gonna go talk to this guy. Safe to move around and do as I please. Let's go talk to Mal. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. We never met. We are unfamiliar yet familiar. You're weird. So tell me. Sure. I'll start from the beginning. Start Not from, from here. I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell uh, me what I'm you I'm here want. to seek a debt repaid. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Uh, hope to grant power. power. Mm, and power comes from strength. And strength comes from growth. Thanks for seed, man. The seed sprout. So does the iron in your spine. I give my word. It is nothing. Many fragments. You're a weird dude. What are you selling? Skill books. Contamination. Uh, 
And then it deals poison, turns water, blood surface, clouds into poison. I can't do that because I really use that. Poison dart. Nope, I don't like anything. I do have some junk I should probably get rid of. Ooh. These clothes I am never going to wear again. I don't need to keep on cooking about them. These six gold, yeah, fine. Uh here, have a bucket. It just takes up space. And then these, I'm going to hold Get rid of the bows. Don't need a wand either. Dump you. No. Uh, oh. I guess he can't. He doesn't have enough money for my junk. Give me a whisper wood. Alright, let's head back into town. Figure out where I am. Oop. Goodness, but this place has made you cranky. Look up, old chap. Let's see what these guys do. Excuse us. You're talking to me, not her, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. <laughs> Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. You must have offed herself. That smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. We... Jesus. They were friends. Well, what's he got on him? A chair? Fine. The man looks for a moment at the corpse at his feet, then turns back towards the nearly finished coffin, bloodied hammer in hand. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I'm a barbarian. He nods at you and turns back to his handiwork. He lines up another nail and hammers it into the panel. That it? He taps hammer to nail. Oh, fine. All right. I guess story time isn't gonna happen. That's what happens when you play the barbarian role. You let dumb shit happen. Oh, ooh, I haven't talked to you yet. Let's see what Redzik has to say. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts, and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. Well, aren't you nice? What's on your mind? mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why. All of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? Why is a mystery? Perhaps if we can reverse the cause of our misfortunes, we'll stop this madness before it goes any further. Anything else to say? I fear it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all, my friend. Though it doesn't hurt to ponder. Mm -hmm. Goods. See what okay. you got. You have no money. Armor of frost. Hail strike. I don't have a hydro sulfus yet. Not yet at least. Oh, there's a flag over here. Actually, what was... Oh, it's closed. Okay. She just... Wasn't able to accept the fact. Oh, whatever. We'll just. Watch yourself. Watch your hands, Pipsfuck. 
What are you loitering around here for? I'm looking her way out. Everyone Why says the quick? same thing. I'll just leave. I don't want to talk to you. So this is Fort Joy. A delivery. Surely you'll have one. crumbling disaster. Scram, snake face. Snake face. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. That dude's got glowy things in his. Can I talk to him? Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just. Shut up, elf. This clown, you caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. How do you know he's the culprit? Red -handed trying to make off with the second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. What was he meant to Supplies, go? A crate of food, a citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk or he'll die. Quiet. I mean, I have some citrus. I got a boat, but I'll All's proposition. My supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate and you got yourself a deal. For a couple of pieces of fruit? <clears throat> no one gets to have it all. No one starves anyone else. All right. Well, his knife between his fingers. Divine's I don't see a knife. This blade is the only god watching over Fort Joy. You say so? That was real deep, bro. Listen up. Back off. All right. Like this. There's too many of them. All right. Change the subject. Uh, just, what's the see how say if I talk to him? Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. Discuss my deal. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. Interested sure, in trade. Have a look. You got money. Have my junk. I don't want this junk. Have my bucket. Have this. I don't want that either. And I want money for it. Chris overpriced Durande. Take my pants. Anything else here I don't want? I want you. Toy chair. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. Uh, you... Good. So I want fifty five. That's what he's going to take. Can I... Hopefully there's an easier way to actually get the number I want. Can I... Arrow keys? Okay. Duh. He accepted my offer. I'll take my leave. Alright. Oh, what's up? Knowing I start. Finally got to the island. That's enough for now. Oh, God, I can't stop stretching. Oh, it's still fun, though. Still more I gotta do around this freaking island. But until next time. Worse than war rations, please. Thanks for watching. See you next time.